it's the sentence that I've made, but the book that you have in front of you, the book that I was asked to phone in on the show for, is a not a children's book. It's a book that anyone can read. Looks like it was written for children. Well, I guess you're you know, targeting the childlike minds. Well, I'm just targeting people who want to be interested and involved in and arm themselves with information. Like I said before, thank you for having me on the show. It was meant to be a 10-minute talk. I appreciate your debate. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me, and I, and I hope you have a very good day. Lord Rothschild, uh, you know that your house will fail in the end, and you know okay. that, and I want to let you know that anyone who sure. supports the New World Order in dehumanization is, is going to be, is, is going to go to prison. You just need to know that. Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Take well, you care, can come buddy. visit me and bring me some food. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Bring you some food. to start. Oh, I'm afraid for once in my life I don't have the stomach for 40 foot Babylonian owl deities. Oh dear, it must be serious. Well, yeah, it's just my son David. I'm especially embarrassed because I named him after you. <laughs> no, no matter about that. Thanks, well, but he just doesn't get it. He actually wants to save the earth. <laughs> oh, well, Actually, I was meaning to talk to you about that. My agent Henry told me the other day he appeared on the Alex Jones show. No. I'm afraid so. He's even given credence to the truth. You've got to take better care of your family. <coughs> Excuse me, you almost ruined everything with that 9-11 cock-up. I mean, you exaggerate. Everything exaggerate. is fine. Half the world knows it. Inside Excuse shop. me, last time I checked, Mars Ice Caps are nothing in plain view. I no. suppose the Goyams SUVs were doing that. Hmm. Roy. Father? Son? I've been looking everywhere for you. I've got something for you. Oh, son. You do understand. David, have your fair fill. Yes. <sighs> And its keepers seem generous and kind Its leaders were supposed to set the country But now they don't pay in no mind Cause the people grew back and got lazy And now their vote is a meaningless joke They grab about law and order But it's all just an echo of what they It just sits there watching. Our cities have turned into jungle, and corruption is strangling the land. The police force is watching the people, and the people just can't understand. We don't know how to mind our own business. Cause the whole world's got to be just like us Now we are fighting a war everywhere And no matter who's a winner, we can't pay the cost yeah, There's a monster on the loose He's got our heads into a goose And he just sits there watching
William Blake was a known 18th century esotericist with connections to the Freemasons. And uh, William Blake wrote a poem in the 18th century called Jerusalem. And the uh, final like, few words in that poem says, I will not cease from mental flight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land.